So good afternoon, my dear students. Uh, how are you? I hope you are fine by the grace of Almighty Allah. Can you just listen to me? Uh, Walaikum Aslam. Walaikum Aslam. So you can listen to me. Okay, sir, Afnan, F9. So, thank you very much, Afnan. So, how are you? Can I watch you tomorrow, shall we? Hello, sir. Pretty good. That's a good English. Okay, so uh, let's start our class, and uh, you are most welcome to this English class. And uh, I'm with you. Perhaps you are fine by the grace of Almighty Allah. I am also fine. Uh, Alhamdulillah. So okay, let's start our class. And here you see, you just look at the screen, and there you see. Uh, of course, I know the students who are here who are the, taking these classes. Of course, they are very brilliant. But one thing, uh, there. Okay, right. You know the name. Uh, I ask you to write down the name, please. Tumra jara naam jana to likha da okay. Yes. And who was uh, this A P Z Abul Kalam? Okay. So can you please write down who was uh, this person? He looked actually ke chilo. But why do you know him? Ta ke amra kano chini ba? Tumra kano chino ta ke? Ta ke kano chino? Just simply his name, or is he? Was he anyone? Uh, of which country? Just tell me, write down. If he's Abul Kalam, right? So, of which country he is? He was a man. Of course, he was a man. Uh, but, uh, okay, uh, of which country he is? Priyanti. Thank you, Baba. So, she uh, Just write down the name. President of India, right? Wow, that's great. Yeah, former president of. Right, first Muslim minister. Indians president, he was the president, first uh, president of India, right? That's great. Yes, and he was the eleventh uh, president, eleventh uh, number president of India. India Ragar Tomo, and the first president maybe. So okay, that's why. And one thing, one uh, very important saying. He has a lot of things, and he is especially very much popular to the young learners especially because he can uh, he still a lot of uh, instructions for them a lot of good sayings he has and he had a lot of uh, uh, advice and inspirations for the young generations right that's why young people like him very much uh, and of course uh, uh, one of the one of his very important saying is that the best brains of the nation may be found on the last bench of the classroom actually uh, may be found this is a, a verb here has been used power but mostly you are the brilliant jara brilliant taraito actually they will lead the country they will do uh, or the perform the responsibilities of the country but some of the some of the 
very important persons may remain uh, uh, bad students or remain inattentive in their classrooms huh? uh, at the very early stage of their life. They were the bag dancers. Uh, they sat in the bag bench. But later on, uh, they actually, uh, yeah, হ্যাঁ <laughs> Samuel, uh, yes, absolutely right answer. Absolutely so many things he have written. Right, he was an uh, aerospace scientist, chilo, and he studied in physics. Uh, physics was a personal question. So, I had a lot of Aerology, aeronautics was a personal question. So, okay, uh, but, so, uh, let's start our class, perhaps. So, do, uh, my, I, I'm showing this saying because you don't get disheartened. Okay, anyone uh, who may think that I'm not a good student, so I'm not, I will not be able to do this, that, okay, and uh, uh, what can I do in my life? So don't get frustrated. Those who are the backbenchers, those who are still not attentive, uh, perhaps those they, are, uh, they have not still shown their uh, talents. That's why they are uh, not in the first place. Okay, so that's why মেধাটা এখনো কিন্তু শো করেনি এই জন্য হয়তো তারা পিছনে আছে তো ভবিষ্যতে তারা হয়তো যখন করবে দে উইল বি ইন দ্য ফার্স্ট পেন্স ওকে সো আই ওয়ান্ট টু ক্রিয়েট ইন্সপিরেশন ফর মাই স্টুডেন্ট স্পেশালি হু আর নট অ্যাবেল টু অ্যাডেপ্টিং উইথ অ্যাডেপ্টিং উইথ দ্য সিচুয়েশনস নাও রাইট সো ইউ কিপ অন ট্রাইং ইউ প্লিজ কিপ অন ট্রাইং ইউ অফকোর্স উইল বি অ্যাবেল টু ডু দ্যাট ইনশাল্লাহ হ্যাঁ সো লেট স্টার্ট আওয়ার ক্লাস and uh, one thing you see uh, today we will start a class in different way uh, this time i will not show you a picture okay so one very more important grammatical points grammatical uh, practical english uses i will talk about it so uh, probably you uh, just look at the headline and can understand practical mana basto english uses probably you uh, uh, probably you can understand the word uses what is the meaning of uses you know uh, uses mane hocche je byabohar uses ortho hocche je byabohar so you can you can say why not use at a use keno hobe na ashole so uh, use what is the difference between uses and use you know what is the difference between uses and use so especially when you are talking about uh, especially when you are talking about uh, about the uh, about the use of words about the use of words in english grammar right that is called uses seta ke byabohar bola hoy thik ache tumra nishoy bujhte pachho acha ar jokhon amra je kono kichu byabohar kora bujhabe tokhon amra seta ke use bolchi okay so let's see amra one i will say just one sentence there you just be very attentive acha you just be very attentive you see the boy is crazy so what do you mean by this sentence uh, can you just please write down the meaning of this sentence it said it's not to keep what about it the boy is crazy what do you think if i ask you if i say someone that you are crazy so uh, the boy is very crazy so if i ask uh, someone that if i told someone that so what do you mean by this sentence it said it's the actually to me key boots be what do you mean by this sentence the boy is mad okay the boy is crazy means the boy is mad that's good anyone can you please write down what do you mean by this sentence the boy is crazy means the boy is mad absolutely mad okay thank you very much so of course the boy is crazy means the boy is mad meaning the boy is mad of course tai to eta howa uchit this is very natural but if you uh, go to usa or if you go to america right that's uh, that what i call and uh, there your meaning will be wrong and there your meaning will be wrong in usa the sentence the meaning of this sentence is the boy is very angry the boy is 
angry okay so can you uh, just see there are there is a lot of difference between these two types of english one is british english another one is american english right so in the first sentence the same word the same word it means different into uh, usually we uh, use or practice two types of english one is british english another one is american so this will the word means different okay in two languages so that's why this is not so essential for you to learn but whenever you will practically go there then you will face this type of problems probably if you go to usa and if someone is mad and if you say you are ang you are you are crazy then it will mean different okay probably then you will have to face a problem that's why uh, the first one is uh, called uh, british english and the second one is called american english so i have written in the short form there uh, b r d means british english and a m e for american english so you can difference that's why this is uh, somehow bit necessary to learn for you especially whenever you are using in our country it will not be a problem but whenever you go to some other countries and there you will use this english then you will have to face a bit problem there okay if you don't know the differences so i've just given one slide for you uh, about that then i will i will just say if i ask you why do you live then what the answer you will give uh, you will say i live in a flat or you will say i live in an apartment so what the answer you will uh, what the answer you will write down please why do you live you live in a flat or live in an apartment okay please write down and uh, you see uh, both the sentences are grammatically correct but what the answer you will say if i ask you where do you live you live in live in a flat or live in an apartment live in an apartment you are writing that's good so if someone writes down flat so what will be the wrong there ke jodi likhe a uh, do number apartment right so probably you are living in an apartment especially who are living in cities who are living in especially the capital city of dhaka right so they are of course living in apartments so if someone says i live in an i live in a flat so what the mistake so do you find any mistake so no one lives in a flat okay so let's see what is the difference between these two words flat and apartment okay i do not live in a, a apartment so if i say i live in a flat so here you see flat is a british english and apartment is an american english though nowadays uh, there is a little bit difference ekhon kintu american rao ashole flat cost ta byabohar kore ba british people ta apartment cost ta byabohar kore they nowadays they use that but actually the two words are different the the formation of these two words are different the source of these two words are different so flat has come from the british english and apartment is an american english so uh, now see you are using uh, we are we are using english that is mixed up that is mixed up some we are using for, uh, from american and some we are using from british english that's why i cannot understand the mistake right there is no mistake at all you can say both you can say i live in a flat or i live in an apartment both answers are correct there is no mistake okay uh, but uh, if i say this sentence uh, you you look at this sentence there is a lift in his apartment there is a lift uh, which english is used the most worldwide british or american actually uh, you just uh, look at the time shomoy hocche je sobche boro jinish je amaderke bibhinno civilization er upore niye jay ekshomoy amra british people der odhinne chilam we were the colonized people then tokhon amra british ke follow kortam english kintu kader ami jodi tomaderke boli ingreji kader bhasha tahole ki bolbe ingreji kader bhasha ingreji ki american manusher bhasha na ingreji ashole england er manusher bhasha ba british people der bhasha of course english is kintu american der bhasha na so we will be surprised to learn that in america you only 45% people is speak in english language there usa usa there 45% people is speak english language there and another 55% people they are using different languages other languages okay 
So uh, English is not their own language. They are they have just inherited and have not inherited this language. Okay. So English এখন যদি বলা হয় বাংলা কাদের ভাষা তোমরা কি জানো বাংলা ভাষা বাংলাদেশ ছাড়া পৃথিবীর আরো অনেক দেশে ব্যবহৃত হয় তোমরা কি জানো পৃথিবীর একটা দেশে বাংলা হচ্ছে যে সেই দেশের স্টেট ল্যাঙ্গুয়েজ হোয়াট ইজ দ্য নেম অফ দ্যাট কান্ট্রি ইউ নো পৃথিবী বাংলাদেশ ছাড়া অন্য একটা দেশে স্টেট ল্যাঙ্গুয়েজ হচ্ছে যে বাংলা প্রবলি ইউ নো দ্য নেম অ্যান্ড দ্য নেম অফ দ্যাট কান্ট্রি ইজ সিয়ারালিয়ন সিয়ারালিয়নে দেয়ার ইজ দি স্টেট ল্যাঙ্গুয়েজ ইজ বাংলা সো আমি কি বলবো যে বাংলা হচ্ছে সিয়ারালিয়ানের মানুষের ভাষা বাংলা হচ্ছে যে ইন্ডিয়ার মানুষের ভাষা নট দ্যাট বাংলা অফকোর্স দ্য ল্যাঙ্গুয়েজ অফ বাংলাদেশি পিপল রাইট সো তাদের ভাষা এই যে মানে এখন আমরা কাকে ফলো করছি ইফ ইউ আস্ক মি দেন আই মাস সে উই উই শুড ফলো ব্রিটিশ বাট উই আর ফলোইং দ্য আমেরিকান বিকজ আমেরিকা ইজ ইনফ্লুয়েন্সিং আজ আ লট আমেরিকা ইজ ইনফ্লুয়েন্সিং হোল ওভার দ্য ওয়ার্ল্ড দ্যাটস ওয়াই যারা ইনফ্লুয়েন্সিয়াল তাদেরকেই তো আমরা ফলো করি তাই না এই জন্য পার্সিয়ালি উই আর প্র্যাকটিক্যালি উই আর ফলোইং আমেরিকান বাট ইফ ইউ গো টু দ্য কোর অফ দ্য ইংলিশ ল্যাঙ্গুয়েজ দেন ইউ হ্যাভ টু ফলো দ্য ব্রিটিশ সো অ্যাজ এ টিচার I must say you should follow the British English. But whenever you are a businessman, you are an uh, educa- educationist or like that, then you have to go to some other countries for different purposes. There you have to use American language. So, okay, let's see. Uh, both are better, but Sierra Leone, right, and West Bengal. Thank you. So, okay, and you see, uh, if I uh, uh, say another sentence, there is an elevator in his apartment. So, what is the mistake in these two sentences or which one is correct which one is correct uh, which one is correct you see there is a, a lift in his apartment or if i say there is an elevator in his apartment so which one is correct uh, both probably you are saying both uh, okay uh, probably yeah, both are right no doubt if you are using in the context of our country or uh, in any country because we are uh, we are learning english as a foreign language not as a second language okay whenever we will learn as a second language that means for, for the, the, then we will have to be very uh, in attach with the uh, english speaking people right jokhon mm-hmm. amra second language hisebe byabohar korbo amader syllabus curriculum education na mass media সব কিছুই তাদের সাথে অ্যাটাচ থাকবে তখন কিন্তু আমরা এই ধরনের ইংরেজিগুলোকে আমরা অবশ্যই ভুল বা শুদ্ধ বের করব আর আমরা যেহেতু ফরেন ল্যাঙ্গুয়েজ হিসেবে এটাকে ব্যবহার করছি এই জন্য আমাদের প্রেশার নেই উই ক্যান ইউজ আর উই ক্যান মিক্স আপ বোথ ল্যাঙ্গুয়েজ বাট ইউ ইউ ওয়ান্ট টু নো দ্য মোস্ট রিফাইন ল্যাঙ্গুয়েজ মোস্ট এক্সেলেন্ট ল্যাঙ্গুয়েজ রাইট সেক্ষেত্রে ইউ হ্যাভ টু নো দিস রুলস ইয়েস দ্য ফার্স্ট ওয়ান ইজ ইউ সি দ্য অ্যাপার্টমেন্ট দ্য ওয়ার্ড হ্যাজ ইজ এন আমেরিকান ইংলিশ but if you do look at the sentence lift lift is a british english so in the first sentence you see there is a lift in his apartment so in this sentence amra kintu we are mixing two languages one is british another one is american if you think that okay mixing uh, mixing american and british are incorrect was is incorrect so in that case your sentence is wrong okay but usually uh, your sentence will not be wrong in that way but tumade uh, gradually eta jana bhalo je amra ashole keno i gulo byabohar korchi je lift byabohar korchi ba elevator ta keno byabohar korchi ba ami lift bolle ki hobe elevator bolle ki hobe you must have some this type of questions in your heart tumar jehetu ekhon very first at the beginning of your learning of this language so later on you will uh, uh, you will face this type of questions yeah, in your heart then perhaps you will have nobody to ask you that's why i am just being a teacher i think it's my responsibility to teach you all of these things so that you may not ask any question later right so uh, this is uh, uh, this is the mixture in this sentence we have mixed up two languages one is british and the one is american but in the next sentence it is absolutely right it is absolutely right because elevator is an american english so in this sentence uh, the sentence is completely right but this is an american english if you go to america then you have to say there is there's an elevator in his apartment okay but if you go to um, england so there you can say there is a lift in his flat okay perhaps you can understand lift is british right that's good 
Okay, so uh, uh, and now I will show you two sentences and you have to say which one is correct. So you just look at this sentence here, you see, he wants to buy an aeroplane and he wants to buy an airplane. Okay, so what is the correct sentence here? What is the correct sentence here, you see? There, uh, he wants to buy an aeroplane, the word in the first sentence and in the second sentence, uh, we ha I have used airplane. So which one is correct? Oh, you are very clever indeed. You are writing both. Uh, can both answer be correct? Every actually, do it again. Is how many? Shoto hota pare. Shoto to ek tai har. Then na. First British and second American. Wow, bujhe pe lagcha. Right. Uh, both are correct. Absolutely correct. Your answer is right. But uh, both are correct in different situations, in different countries. If you go to, uh, uh, if you want to use the British English, in British, aeroplane is the right word. Aeroplane is the right word, and this is British English. But if sometime you go to USA, and if you say aeroplane, then people will laugh at you. Okay, people will laugh at you. Tumante the hajbe. Tumi jokhon bol bajiye. Well, I want to go to buy aeroplane, so they they will laugh at you, right? So if you uh, go to USA, of course there you have to say airplane. You have to say airplane. So I will uh, travel by airplane, not aeroplane. Probably uh, this is a very different. You can never use uh, aeroplane in USA and airplane in Britain. Okay. So these are the differences here. We have come to know about the four words. Perhaps uh, you can understand the first one is crazy and second one uh, is flat and apartment and then we have come to know about the lift and elevator and the last word aeroplane and airplane and perhaps you know the differences all of these words now you must have no question then okay thank you so uh, like next go you just look at these passes and here you see, uh, we'll, today we will not go for any text, we will just go for uh, some of other questions like see unseen passes and uh, rearrangement, fill in the blanks and matching, okay. We will solve this type of questions. Uh, so uh, this class is very tough for you will be, you have to work a lot. You have to be very clear, very careful and attentive, okay. Of course you are ready perhaps for that. So you see, uh, I will just read the text uh, and if you don't uh, have the uh, your homework and exercise book beside you, so in that case you can just listen to me. But after listening this text, this is a kind of practice because you are not practicing only your grammar skill. You are just practicing not only your writing skill, you are practicing both your listening skill as well because I am speaking in English and you are listening to me, you are understanding me, you are practicing this skill, right? You are also writing something, writing the answer, That's mean, that means you are practicing your uh, writing skill, okay? And uh, uh, though speaking skill is somehow here absent, after that uh, these two skills you are practicing a lot. That's why I will just read the text and you will just listen to it very carefully. And listening uh, doesn't mean to listen to a word. Listening means listening and understanding. Listening and understanding. Okay. So, okay. Eke Fosul Hawk was born in 1872 at Shaturia in Borishal. So, he was, uh, uh, he was born in Borishal district as you came to know. So there he received his primary education in village Moktob. Perhaps you know the word Moktob. Moktob which is it's a kind of uh, school situated in the villages. student, grammar student, uh, he entered, entered the Borishal Jila school. That Borishal Jila school. You have to keep the information in your brain because I will just uh, give you uh, questions after that. Okay. That's why there your text will not be there. So very challenging one. And I hope uh, you are giving attention. So he uh, entered uh, the Borishal Jila school. He passed the entrance examination standing first. 
in Dhaka division. Stand first. It can do, this is so important and uh, so prestigious at a position. আমাদের এখন নেই আমরা যখন প্রশ্ন করেছি তখন একটা বোর্ডে সাধারণত 20 জন স্টুডেন্ট স্ট্যান্ড করত স্ট্যান্ড করা বোঝা মানে দে গট দা হাইয়েস্ট মার্কস ঠিক আছে ইন এভরি বোর্ড সো সেই ক্ষেত্রে আসলে তাদেরকে খুব অনার করা হতো তাদেরকে বিভিন্ন জায়গায় অনেক সম্মান দেখানো হতো সো সে ওই 20 জন স্টুডেন্টের মধ্যে আউট অফ 20 হি গট দা ফার্স্ট পজিশন ইউ জাস্ট ইমাজিন হাউ ব্রিলিয়েন্ট হি ওয়াজ Uh, in Dhaka division. After that, he went to Calcutta for a higher education. At the age of 21, he passed the BSc examination obtaining honors in chemistry, physics, and mathematics from the presidency college. Therefore, after completing our ACC exam, we usually go for the higher education. Higher education means we usually go for the, our honors education. Uh, usually a single student can take honors in one subject I mean, should the actor subject in English, English policy English uh, honors policy so either on a student act a subject a portion of work into you just look at the passage and see this a case log she actually think the subject honors policy chemistry physics and mathematics I want the entire to the toughest subject okay and uh, uh, he took his MSc degree in mathematics. Kintu MSc degree kore chilo mathematics in 1895. So far, I mean, I can act a moderate golf or a set out of the a full of case. Some of the uh, kono uh, agent foreigner that he knew a city that Bengali people by stan people they do not know maths. परीक्षार मुखार्जी बहादुरटेंट रोल इन फाउंडिंग इंडिया मुस्लिम लीग All India Muslim League नाम एक तो दौल, शे नव सर सोली मुल्ला शाथी मिले, शे दौल टक गठन कर चिल्लो 1906. So in the same year he gave up his legal profession, और शे बोल सो ता legal profession माने ये जे आयन बैठे छेरे दिए, become a magistrate. शे तो अपन magistrate बोलो पोरी कर दिए, and he joined the Calcutta High Court again in 1912. In 1913 he became an elected MLC for the first time. Three years after he attended the special joint session of Congress and the Muslim League in Lucknow and played an important role, in 1918 he became the General Secretary of the Indian National Congress and the President of the All India Muslim League. So probably you have understood uh, and then, Archer, then we will go for the questions now. Probably uh, you get ready. With this answer, and first answer is here. You have to write down then the name of the event, place, year, or time, and achievement. Okay, there are four columns, and the first column you see birth, and you have to write down the name of the place where he was born. Uh, I want to see your memory. I want to judge your memory. That means how much 
यू कैन कीप इट इन योर मेमोरी जे एक बार तुम ये लिसन फॉर सिंगल और वन टाइम एवं पर वो तो तुम ये टाइप क्यों है बात चले रिकॉर्ड करते पारो दैट्स व्हाई ये दैट्स वांडरफुल मासू मोंटा हा मारूफ मोंटा हा वो इज इन दिस प्रोफाइल वुड यू प्लीज राइट डाउन योर नेम शत्रुरिया इन बोरिशल राइट दैट्स वांडरफुल गुड अंतो तो बोरिशल टा लेखा उचित बिकॉज़ इन आम टा उसे मोने थका उचित तो हमारे कारण दिस द नेम ऑफ़ अ डिस्ट्रिक्ट ओके ए डिस्ट्रिक्ट नाम टा उसे तो हमारे मोने थक पे शुद्ध बोरिशल लिख लो आल जस्ट से यस मारूफ ओके मारूफ थैंक यू बाबा ओके इफ यू कैन जस्ट जस्ट राइट ऑन बोरिशल इज ओके All right. So the first answer you see, your answer is correct here. Shaturia in Borisha. Okay. And the next question for you is entrance examination. Is she key achieve kore chilo? And probably you uh, you should know it because I mean, kintu ita golpo diye bujhe chhi. Je she amon ita position love kore chilo. GPA five. Baba GPA five to ita khub shamanno jinish. Those who get eighty percent marks get GPA five. आज जरा बोर्ड स्टैंड कोर्ट तो यूजुअली दे गोट 99 परसेंट और 98 परसेंट मार्क्स ओके ओके एंड यस दे एक जो लिखे चो राधी लिखे चो एब्सोल्युटली राइट आंसर थैंक यू वेरी मच वेल डन वेल डन राइट स्टूड फर्स्ट इन ढाका बोर्ड ढाका डिवीजन राधी यस एब्सोल्युटली करेक्ट आंसर योर आंसर इज वेल डन so no 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 pushpi the likha chho 1895 ami baba ekhane year likhte boli ni to dekho look at this and see be very careful je ami kon column ta fill up korte bolchi tomake ha so yes your column is uh, uh, column number 2 uh, 4 okay number 2 fill in the blanks number 2 and column number 4 stood first is the right answer stood first in dhaka division that's that was that was very easy perhaps you could uh you could understand that thank you so and the next one you see msc degree it will be very tough 1895 your answer is correct someone has written jackie kazim right so your answer is correct thank you very much and the last answer you see 1906 shaky 1906 uh, probably it is too tough of a text and are they after that I'm showing it the founded all India Muslim League founded and this text is taken from your homework and exercise book so if you be very clever then you you can use your homework and exercise book then so you see founded the all India Muslim League right not married uh, founded all India Muslim League so higher education कुठाई कोड़े चिलो शे प्लेस तो नाम लिखता होगा हायर एजुकेशन वाइ डिड ही डू कंप्लीट इस हायर एजुकेशन शे तार उच्चतर शिक्षा प्रेसिडेंसी कॉलेज एब्सोल्युटली थैंक यू ग्रेट कॉन्ट्रैक्शन बस प्रेसिडेंसी बनाने टाइप तो भूल रहे थे तो ठीक कर ना पीआरडी एसआईडीएनसी वाई होगा कोलकाता राइट uh, not at all, but not the, no, not, not Northern University. So, okay, and uh, Presidency College, right? And that's the answer you got. At this time, you are almost right. So, you to DU Mane Dhaka University, no. Pushra Boshir, sir, hello, Athen. Please comment here. Answer the yes, Baba. I mean, answer the chi shower. So sometimes on a glow comments, I mean, a shop will pick or take to cost of high by it to summary cover card, and that's why I'm not the partner. You don't worry for that, right? Okay, but I'm watching you and I'm just looking at every comments, and then your other passage is there, and this passage is about a very, very favorite person of me because he is a uh, he is a very famous english poet as i have studied english literature that's why this poet is uh, or the writing of this poet is very fa um, very favorite to me okay 
এবং তোমরাও যদি ইংলিশে অনার্স পড়ো তাহলেও তাকে চিনবে এবং তার 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 কথা তার গল্প পড়ে ভালো লাগবে তার গল্প না স্পেশালি ইজ আ পয়েট তার কবিতা আর কি সো দ্যাট ওয়াজ অসম সেইসব কবিতাগুলো আমরা আসলে পড়েছি তার তার নাম হচ্ছে যে পিবি শেলি পিবি শেলি অ্যান্ড প্রবলি উইল আস্ক নাও যে হোয়াট ডু ইউ মিন বাই পিবি পিবি মিন্স দ্য শর্ট ফর্ম পিবি মিনস পার্সি বুসি শেলি ঠিক আছে পিবি মিন্স নেক্সট লাইভ হচ্ছে যে ফ্রাইডেতে আগামীকাল আচ্ছা আগামী দুটা থেকে দুটা থেকে তিনটা পনেরো পর্যন্ত হচ্ছে ক্লাস সেভেন আর সাড়ে তিনটা থেকে ক্লাস ক্লাস এইটটা পিছিয়ে দিয়েছি ক্লাস এইট এখন তিনটা জায়গায় থ্রি থার্টি করেছি সাড়ে তিনটা করেছি আর ক্লাস টেনটা হচ্ছে যে পাঁচটায় ঠিক আছে আচ্ছা ওকে রিড দ্য টেক্সট অ্যান্ড ইউ আর রেডি পারহ্যাপস নাও সো পিভি শেলি সান অফ ব্যারোনেট অফ সেক্স ওয়াজ বর্ন অ্যাট ফিল্ড প্লেস সো যখনই তুমি ওয়ান এবার ইউ গো ফর আনসিন প্যাসেজ তখন ফ্রিকুয়েন্টলি কিছু কোয়েশ্চেন্স কিন্তু আসে ফর এক্সাম্পল যেমন প্লেস অফ বার্থ অ্যান্ড প্লেস অ্যান্ড ইয়ার অফ বার্থ এই দুটো জিনিস কিন্তু খুব আসে যে কখন জন্মগ্রহণ করেছে কোথায় জন্মগ্রহণ করেছে এই দুটো বিষয় আসে কোন ইউনিভার্সিটিতে পড়াশুনো করেছে এই বিষয়টা অনেক সময় আসে তার ম্যারেজ সম্পর্কে কিছু ইনফরমেশান থাকলে সেটা আসে এবং তার প্রফেশন কি ছিল সে বিষয়ে আসে সো কয়েকটা বিষয়ে একটু খেয়াল করতে হবে ক্লাস এইটের ক্লাস থ্রি থার্টি তিনটা তিরিশ মিনিটে আচ্ছা এক্সাম ফ্রাইডে তো অবশ্যই এক্সাম হবে অফকোর্স দেয়ার উইল বি ইচ অ্যান্ড এভরি ফ্রাইডে দেয়ার উইল বি এক্সাম সো ওকে ইউ সি অ্যান্ড দ্য বার্থ প্লেস ওয়াজ ফিল্ড टेकिंग दिस क्लस সো কাল কি এক্সাম স্যার বাবা এই ধরনের প্রশ্ন করলে আমি খুব ডিসহার্টেন্ড হই বিকজ তোমাদের একটা গ্রুপ আছে আমি গ্রুপে ওখানে সেখানে লিখে দিয়েছি সেখানে একটা নোটিস টানিয়ে দিয়েছি যে কবে কবে ক্লাস হবে কবে পরীক্ষা হবে কোথায় ক্লাস হবে সব লিখে দিয়েছি আননেসারিলি এখানে এই সব আননেসারি প্রশ্ন করার এই ক্লাস ডিস্টারবেন্স করার তো কোনো যুক্তি নেই যারা জানবে না তাদের জানা দরকার নেই হ্যাঁ এখন আননেসারি প্রশ্ন করা আমার প্রয়োজন নেই ঠিক আছে প্রত্যেক শুক্রবারে পরীক্ষা হচ্ছে ইউ নো সো পরীক্ষা হবে কি না স্যার ডি ডেন গেট দ্য নোটিস ইউ উইল জাস্ট গো টু দ্য গ্রুপ তুমি যে তুমি সে গ্রুপের মেম্বার আর ইউ দ্য মেম্বার অফ দ্যাট গ্রুপ আমার যে একটা ফেসবুকে একটা গ্রুপ আছে তো সেই ফেসবুক গ্রুপটায় ওখানে নোটিস দেওয়া আছে সেই নোটিসে ওখানে ওখানে দেখবা ফেসবুক গ্রুপে স্ক্রল করলে ওখানে পাবা উপরে লেখা আছে ওখানে আমার একটা ওয়েবসাইটে একটা ছবি দেওয়া হচ্ছে একটা বাংলা লিঙ্কের অ্যাডের মতো করে সো ওর উপরে নোটিস লেখা আছে ওখানে সি মোড থাকলে এটা ক্লিক করে দেখবা যে ওখানে পুরো বিষয়টা লেখা আছে দেখেন এত কথা আমি যদি এখন ক্লাসে বসে বসে বলতে যাই তাহলে ক্লাসটা কখন নিব বলো হুম হ্যাঁ ইফ ইউ আর দ্য মেম্বার ইউ গো দেয়ার ইউ গো দেয়ার অ্যান্ড সি ইট ডোন্ট অ্যাস্ক মি নাও ইন দিস ক্লাস হ্যাঁ এখানে তোমার এই এই সব আনসের প্রশ্ন করলে আমি খুব বিরক্ত হই দ্যাট মিনস ইউ আর সো মানে কেয়ারলেস একটা স্টুডেন্ট আমার কাছে এটা মনে হয় ইউ আর রিয়েলি ভেরি ভেরি কেয়ারলেস যে ইউ ডোন্ট ডোন্ট কেয়ার অ্যাবাউট ইউর স্টাডিজ জাস্ট এটা একটা মজা যে স্যার অনলাইনে ক্লাস নিচ্ছে আমি এখানে অ্যাটেন্ড করছি এটা জাস্ট ইউ আর মেকিং ফান দেয়ার তোমাদের একটা একটা সপ্তাহের ফুল সিলেবাসটা আমি ওখানে দিয়ে দিই যে এই সপ্তাহে আমি কি পড়াবো এই সপ্তাহে আমি কিসের উপর পরীক্ষা নিব ফ্রাইডেতে কি কি রাইটিংস থাকবে এভরিথিং ইজ দিয়ে সো ইউ হ্যাভ টু গো টু দ্য ভিজিট দ্যাট গ্রুপ ওই গ্রুপটা তোমাকে মাঝে মাঝে ভিজিট করতে হবে সো এভরি নোটিস উইল গো দেয়ার ওকে বাবা তুমি বসরা তুমি পরে আমার সাথে কথা বলো তুমি ক্লাস এইটে পড়ো ওই সেভেন এর স্টুডেন্টের সাথে তোমার এই গ্রুপে তুমি সাড়ে তিনটায় ক্লাস এইটের সাথে কথা বলো তুমি এখন এখান থেকে এটা স্টপ করো বাবা 
আচ্ছা ওকে সো ইউ সি হি ওয়াজ শেলি মেট্রিকুলেটেড এট ইটন অক্সফোর্ড ইন এইটিন টেন আর সে মেট্রিক পাস করেছিল ইটন অক্সফোর্ড থেকে এইটিন টেনে হি ওয়াজ এক্সপেল ফ্রম দ্য ইউনিভার্সিটি ইন এইটিন ইলেভেন ফর পাবলিশিং আ প্যাম্পলেটস অন দ্য নেসিটি অফ এথিজম এবং ওয়ান ইন্টারেস্টিং থিং ইজ দ্যাট হি ওয়াজ দ্য স্টুডেন্ট অফ দ্য মোস্ট ফেমাস ইউনিভার্সিটি অফ দ্য ওয়ার্ল্ড এট দ্যাট টাইম অক্সফোর্ড ইউনিভার্সিটি অ্যান্ড হি ওয়াজ দ্য স্টুডেন্ট অফ অক্সফোর্ড ইউনিভার্সিটি বাট আনফর্চুনেটলি হি ওয়াজ এক্সপেল ফ্রম দ্য ইউনিভার্সিটি তাকে ইউনিভার্সিটি থেকে এক্সপেল করে দেওয়া হয় ইন এইটিন ইলেভেন ফর পাবলিশিং আ প্যাম্পলেট সে একটা ছোট পুস্তিকা প্রকাশ করেছিল সে পুস্তিকাটা ছিল অন দ্য নেসিটি অফ এথিজম পারাপস ইউ আন্ডারস্ট্যান্ড দ্য মিনিং অফ এথিজম এথিজম মানে হচ্ছে নাস্তিকতা এই নাস্তিকতার প্রয়োজনীয়তা এটার উপরে সে একটা বই প্রকাশ করেছিল এবং সেই বই প্রকাশের জন্য তাকে এই ইউনিভার্সিটি থেকে এক্সপেল করে দেওয়া হয় সুন আফটার রি ফেল ইন লাভ উইথ হ্যারিয়েট ওয়েস ব্রু ডটার অফ কফি হাউস ওনার হুম হি মেরিট অ্যাট এইটিন বার্ক ইন অগস্ট এইটিন ইলেভেন ফর থ্রি ইয়ার্স হি লেট উইথ হ্যারিয়েট এডিন বার্ক ইন অগস্ট সরি ওয়েন্ডারিং লাইফ এনগেজিং ইন কি রিফর্মিস্ট প্রোপাগান্ডা ইন আয়ারল্যান্ড অ্যান্ড ওয়েলস যাই হোক সে তার ওয়াইফের সাথে বিভিন্ন জায়গা ভ্রমণ করেছিল আর কি এই জন্য ওয়েন্ডিং বলছে ওয়েন্ডারিং মানে হচ্ছে যে চড়ে বেড়ানো বা ঘুরে বেড়ানো আর কি আচ্ছা ওকে তারপরে অ্যান্ড এইটিন থার্টিন হি প্রাইভেটলি প্রিন্টেড ফর সার্কুলেশন এবং হিস ফ্রেন্ডস কুইন ম্যাপ এই কুইন ম্যাপ নামে সে একটা সার্কুলেট করেছিল একটা লেখা প্রিন্ট করেছিল ইজ ফার্স্ট নোটেবল ওয়ার্ক এটাই ছিল তার প্রথম কোনো দৃশ্যমান লেখা যেটা মানুষের সামনে আসলো ইন এইটিন সিক্সটিন শেলি ম্যারিড মেরি গডউইন আফটার হ্যারিয়েট ড্রাউন্ড বাইরন <laughs> <laughs> Shelley's greatest works were produced during three years of exile in Italy. Among that, the last of all, uh, Italy was exiled. Exile was not the same. He was in the Gulf of Las Spezia. And he was drowned in the Gulf of Las Spezia. Las Spezia in uh, July. Las Spezia is the Gulf of Vietnam. Among 1822, he was drowned in the Gulf of Las Spezia. And uh, cremated. Cremated uh, in the presence of Byron with whom he had been living. Even cremated means that he was burned. Even that he was burned. Uh, uh, right, you are right, Baba. Jackie. So, uh, revolt means that he was burned. Revolt means that he was burned. Revolt means that he was burned. Revolt means that he was on the side of atheism and also a le- little bit on the side of religion Islam. বিকজ সে ইসলামের রিভোল্ট এই বিষয়ে ইসলাম পজিটিভলি হয়তো লিখেছিল আমি অবশ্য বইটা পড়িনি সো এবং ক্রিমেটেড মানে হচ্ছে যে তাকে বার্ন করা হয়েছিল ইন দ্য প্রেজেন্স অফ বাইরন উইথ হুম হি হ্যাড বিন লিভিং এবং বাইরন আরেকজন পয়েট সো তার সামনে তাকে করা হয়েছিল সো দ্যাটস গুড ওকে লেটস সি দ্য কোয়েশন ইজ বিফোর ইউ নাও ইউ হ্যাভ টু রাইট অন দ্য আনসার আই ইউ রেডি ফর দ্যাট সো ইউ প্লিজ গো অন Uh, class will end at 3.30. 3.30 3.20. I will just start uh, 20 minutes on the CS Corvo. So you just look at the answer here. You see you have to write down the event. PV Shelley event. It on Oxford is a key code. Oh, Lamia Islam. That's great. So the first, you write down the answers gradually one by one. So, field place, right. I mean, I just uh, told you to recall it, to remind it, field place is the right answer. And then, P.V. Shelley, uh, uh, Eton Oxford, what did he do? 
he matriculated that's good he matriculated that's right your answer is correct and then expelled expelled university take in 1811 expelled which expelled which look can why for what okay and for publishing a pamphlet on the message of atheism a it a pamphlet at a push take a progress color journal that the university expelled for the other chilo and queen map queen map was queen map it was a privately printed for circulation amongst friends queen map is his writing and uh, he wrote this uh, writing and he circulated them on his friends only that won't do their motives and circulate for the chilo okay <coughs> no no Acha. circulation among his friends right and the last one is uh, the revolt of islam was published when the revolt of islam was published when Uh, yeah, in 1817. In 1817, right? The answer is 1817. Uh, okay, you just see. Uh, and probably you have got all the answers. And this text is in your homework and exercise book. Uh, so you will go to that book and you will just uh, see or match all the answers. Okay, next, uh, we are going next. Uh, this time, this is a fill in the blanks for you so it's easy perhaps for you and you will have to write down the answer okay just can you please read the text and there are some words in the clue in the box so the first word is harm spatially good curriculum necessary about diseases healthy exercise everybody helps in that so if you don't know the meaning of anyone so you can just write down yeah you carry on writing the answer the first one physical education dash us to know right we have got the answer jackie kazim you have you have written the answer thank you very much and we have got the first answer is physical education helps right that's good answer physical education helps you carry on uh, writing the answers physical education helps us to know when and how we can take dash we can take you have written the exercise yes that's great um, yeah wow well. yes you please keep on writing the answer okay yeah Can you please read the text properly? Text to put the part, na? That's rule. Hey, you please mention the number. Uh, otherwise, I cannot understand which number you are writing for. Your answer for which number. Okay. That's why you please you you just write down. No problem. You slowly you write down. Okay, I'll see everybody's answer. You just read the text properly and you will have to use the clue there. So I'm just going for the answers one by one, but just you just complete and then match your answers. So the second one you see uh, and how we can take dash and your answer is correct. How we can take exercise is the other. Uh, and what ways of games and sports can keep our body dash strong and active right healthy 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 tumra jeta bolo actually this is a wrong pronunciation it should be healthy so healthy strong and active okay 
Yes, thank you, Baba. And now you match your answers. If you have any question, you can just ask me If you have any question, you can just ask me them, right? So, uh, physical education helps us to make our body free from various, various diseases, is the answer, right? Various diseases. It is true that is the answer. Everyone has written the correct answer, I have seen. So that life is a great burden to seek an unhealthy, unhealthy person. So uh, physical education is dash for all, is necessary for all to keep dash health, to keep good health. So the children and the young boys and girls dash the student should be taught. Specially, have push on no licking sugar, no, no cue for a clue. The dog's here. Curriculum spelling tab, hello, Cheradi. Acha, okay, so uh, you see, specially, uh, the students should be taught about physical education. So, I for about, specially. Push on. Uh, okay. So, and the last answer is here. Curriculum. C U C the C U double R I C U R R I C U L U M. Okay. Probably uh, you have to be careful about the spelling. And you have missed your answers, sir. And uh, how much have you got? Okay. Call the page. So, see. Sir, my all answers is tick. <laughs> Can't you write down all my answers are correct? So no Bengali word should be translated in English or written in English spelling. Okay. Uh, so it uh, this this is an offense. It take in fact opera, especially in the English English class, you cannot write. Okay, no problem. So uh, you will just uh, go for this passage again at home because you have a Friday test, uh, and that in that test, to mother test, I mean to show score the achi. So probably the police, to mother, three inter classes, jaa pora no hoye chhe. Ekhan thike yajbe. Ekhan chhe, tumra ei three inter class, itu halu kore jodi dekho, ta holi tumra shukrobar police shop on korbe. Ekhan chhe. Thank you. And then we'll go for the next question. Here you see there is another fill in the blanks for you. So this time you will have to work hard. You have to try. Congratulations to those who have got uh, 10 and 8. That's a good number in it, okay. So let's see and uh, you just go through this uh, fill in the blanks again and just write down. Um, so I tried my best but couldn't make it. No problem, no problem. So EG, if you you are trying that, this is a very important thing. This is the very important thing that will uh, take you uh, or help you go a long way. That's very good. So you please write down. Please write down your name. That's wonderful. be as easy like this na eto shohoj hobe na shohoj mane ami chai je online test ashole ami jodi tough kori to shei khetre tumra ektu disinterested hoye jao bole jeto paro okay emni around 50% mark quiz i thakbe but another 
and the fifth person will be sum of bit ta okay beshi shohaj hoye geche ajker prashno uh acha and that i can't do acha no problem tumader tin ta je class niyechi ei shobte koy ta class niyechi tin ta i have taken three classes for you on english first paper so ei tin ta class e ja poriyechi ekhan theke porikha ashbe hoyto shamanno ektu change kore dite pari ekta fill in the blanks ekhane ache ami arek jaygay diye dilam erokom rearrangement er ekta uttor ba ekta sentence ek jaygay ache ami eta ghuriye dilam a little bit change ajo thakbe jate kore tumi shorashori answer ta copy korte na paro okay let's match the answer there we can keep dash health right keep in good health is the answer that's good keep in good health if we play if we play regularly that's the right answer if we play regularly and then if the body is dash uh, sound uh, sound uh, the mind also remains sound you should bear in mind that it is a very good very good rule uh, to read while it is time for playing and play while it is time while it is time for playing and play with, oh sorry time for reading f number for reading and g for playing good children do not play all day long is the answer that's good aram chopper out to likhe diyecho thank you and then the next answer you see they sit to read while it is time to time for reading and this is why everybody likes them yes the answer that's good so congratulations jader uttor hoye gache thank you very much so you match your answers and probably you have done that you have got nine so you write down your marks how much have you got we have got 10 in regularly sound the rule for playing long time them yes arham you got 10 out of 10 that's great congratulations that's great okay wonderful then we'll go for the next question there you see this is very easy this is very easy you have to match the answers only can you see there are two columns duta column ache ei duta column er tomar shudhu match kore dite hobe that means you have to write down a plus which number you will choose and then b plus c plus d plus okay in this way you have to write down this match so you start writing uh you look the passage is about digital bangladesh and uh, of course this is a very uh, new and important passage indeed so digital bangladesh is a myth <laughs> right not a myth AJ, AJ, we are digitalized now and this is that is why actually etai to ei je etai to digitalization tumi je class e bashay boshe porcho ebong ami ekta bhobishyotbani kore diye ajke je এটাকে ভার্চুয়াল ক্লাস বলা হয় এই যে যে ক্লাসটা করছো এটাকে একটা ভার্চুয়াল ক্লাস বলা হয় মানুষ আসলে অনেক বেশি এই ভার্চুয়াল ক্লাসের উপর ডিপেন্ডেন্ট হয়ে যাবে এক সময় হ্যাঁ এবং তোমরা হয়তো যে এক্সট্রা ক্লাস করো অথবা হয়তো রেগুলার স্কুল কলেজ তো আর বন্ধ হবে না এক্সট্রা ক্লাসগুলো দেখা যাচ্ছে যে অনেক সময় এই ধরনের ভার্চুয়াল হয়ে যাবে কোন এক সময় ওকে ইউ আর রাইটিং দা आंसर थैंक यू ইউ আর সো ফাস্ট হ্যাঁ 
excellent. Your answers are correct. Most of your answers are correct. Okay. So let's see the answer. The first one is first one jar hoche. Ek to yes likho to kar kar hoche first one. Isha this e hobe mane five yes. Jar five likho chhoto adu to right hoche. And then number second. Uh, that means if we read the sentences like that, digital Bangladesh is a new but ambitious concept in the country. वो से जो digital Bangladesh Bangladesh है नोट उन किंतु खूब एक तो उच्चाकन की एक तो धारणा होती है। अच्छा and then uh, digital Bangladesh is uh, a vision of uh, bringing about digital change in every sector. Okay, and it is a process. You see. Uh, it is a process of digitalizing, digitalizing everything in our national life. And okay, our lifestyle, daily activities, business, transaction, uh, communications, entertainment, studies, consultations, etc. would be made online. Amra ek to lock ko le amra kinto guste parchi. Ekhon kinto onik kichha amader online hoye yachhe dekh. Our lifestyle jao na amra bazar korchi online hai. Our daily activities, when our newspaper reports, or cover the news, or shop, which we do, our daily activities, when we do online, our business completely, I think, into online, I think, communications, it is online, it is online, it is entertainment, I think, YouTube, Google, all of these, I think, all of these, all of these, entertainment, all of these, all of these, not only see, see, no, see, right, all of these, all of these, already, it is. And consultation. So, our key. So, we are a digitalized country indeed. So, you can say we are digital Bangladesh. That's good. And the last one economically rich and industrially developed. Uh, we, uh, countries are fully dependent on digitalization process. That's good. Now, physical class is of course better, right? Ita to there is ita there must not be. Ita kono bikol po nai. Ikatse aage je amade amade teacher ra jokhon pora to gachhe ni je party bichiye. Ikatse thanda wata she prokiti shathe. To she she ita to aro better chilo. She ita to that was much better, far better than your classroom, right? Aar ekhon digital ita theke to amade ta holo. So of course, uh, and then uh, next uh, another uh, another table for you is there. So please write down your answer. Please write down your answer. You get ten. Congratulations. Actually, so, AJ, A exercise gulo, A class gulo ke to moja kora ek tough. Amar EFT class bishore grammar class gulo bishi moja hoy. So inshallah next week amar narration porbo tumra kuch enjoy korbe, ha? So dekho uh, je we are all indebted to our parents, indebted to our parents. Indebted mano chhe rini, indebted ortho rin. I am due to pay. Uh, okay, so we all are we are all indebted to our parents. If you have any uh, personal conversation, then you will just call me. Okay. Uh, or you will text me in my mobile phone. Okay. We are all indebted to our parents. Indebted to our parents, yes. The answer, uh, of course, it will be B. And Kazi Asma Liga Chho, Shariya Kobe Pushon Liga Chho, Radhi Liga Chho, Tasin Liga Chho, that's great. Wonderful, your answer is great. Then the next answer you see, they have uh, brought up, they have brought up, uh, brought up and are also doing their best for our education. Right, and your answer, C is correct, Radhi, thank you. So two number they have brought up and are also doing their best for our education. Arham, ek baru to lik bana hoga. Ek 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 kore likho ita. It is it is very interesting. Yeah, tum jokhon ek sath shabulu to likho. 
then other students can see it. All the students are there. This is a competition. This is a number of people. This is a competition. 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 This All right, okay, you see three number, you are right, C for A. Uh, so we have uh, we have some duties to our parents. All right, four number is the, the first and the foremost duty. Uh, foremost duty is to obey and respect them. And the last one is, of course, E. When we respect them, they get intensely pleasure, immense pleasure, and blisters from the core of their heart. Okay, probably you have got the answers. And then the last part here is a rearrangement so it's not possible for you to write down rearrangement so to me rearrangement answer tami bolbo among you will just uh, listen to the story and keep it in mind or what is the meaning of what i'm just showing you the answer you you will also of course, you will write down the answer also. Because it is a homework and exercise. So, you will go there. So, I am going gradually pass that to Jen. The first, uh, you see number C. Shakespeare was born on April 23, 1564, in Stratford on Avon. Shakespeare, William Shakespeare, he is the famous, greatest uh, English writer. And drama artist, and he was born in Stratford on Avon, and John Mogram, 1564. And Jean number, therefore, his father, John Shakespeare, came to Stratford about 1531. Wow, my goodness, Aram, so genius. Okay, uh, and the second answer you'll just see G. Uh, that is his father, John Shakespeare, came to Stratford about uh, 1531. And three number, uh, three number D here, you see his mother, Mary Arden, was the daughter of a prosperous farmer. Tharma Namra Bustabachi, Shakespeare, Poribar, Ashle Tharma, Kisho Poribar, Chilo, Abong Baba, Shanto, Borsha, Turi Korto, Yokon, Connect, Pishan, Yajito Chilo. And uh, for number A of Shakespeare's education, little is known. Little is known. Shakespeare's education is not known. Five number his real teachers were the men and women, and the natural influence which surrounded him in Stratford. educational qualification. All right, Shakespeare's father's name was also Shakespeare, right? Shakespeare was their epithet. Tadir Padu bhi chilo, ha? Amra jani na, amra jay Chowdhury, jaman Rohin Chowdhury, Korim Chowdhury, tikat sir. So and Shakespeare, uh, Shakespeare uh, was their epithet, perhaps. Ah, uh, dekho Baba naam chilo John Shakespeare. Ah, uh, John Shakespeare chilo naam chilo William Shakespeare. Okay. Okay, and uh, number uh, J, we got that the real teachers Karachilo, men and women, and the nature influence surrounded him. And then number E, six, number E, when he was 14, his father lost his property and fell into debt. And then number E, six, Seven number, uh, probably have got the answer. Seven number, you see, in uh, 1582, Shakespeare married Anne Hathaway, the daughter of a peasant. She was a teacher, she was a teacher, she was a teacher, she was a teacher. And uh, D number, F, uh, he was eight years older than him. She was a wife, she was a teacher, she was a teacher. Nine number, B, uh, uh, he went to London in 1587 and joined uh, Barbez's company of actors. Later on, last number I, uh, he died on the anniversary of his birth. So, 
probably you got the answer and there you see another answer so you please write down the answer write down the answer only okay uh, just simply write down the answer and this passage about Tarek so you see Tarek is a brilliant student uh, okay if we start with F is class Oh, sorry, if I have to pull out the line to the F number, if number to the hobby, she got it. If the F number is interested to borrow his at she like a door children of a way. I'm talking about a Korean skate in the Ashley. He's like a chillum. Get to F number. He's a bottle. Ashley Korean see how to my son of the mother homework and exercise boy. They let him a booster. She can get to keep correct out. If you know F number, he's the Kate Korim Sobe. Korim's class teacher, Mr. Rahman, introduced him to because he's the other director. Passes Shuru Haina. If you know Tumra, he answered to Likhana, you will just go through your homework and exercise book. There you will see. And probably you can understand F number to be Shuru Haba, he's a body like Korim Sobe. The sentence will start Korim's. Okay, perhaps you have got that and just simply write down your homework then. So you please write down your homework and uh, this is your homework and uh, Friday you will have a test so you will be well prepared for that I hope and you must do better and I see I want to see you must get the outstanding okay that means you must get 30 out of 30 if you go through these three classes class slide ঠিকাছে and see you tomorrow on Friday test. Bye, hello, peace.